welcome to the vlog. I am recording this the day I am editing, which is Monday, September 5th, and I just wanted to share with you my little Animal Crossing experience. I was going villager hunting, and I ran into a lot of really ugly villagers, as you can see. Uh, Violet, no thank you. <laughs> I didn't even go and see the first one. I was just so appalled. Oh my god, and then I ran into Goldie. I was so upset, or sorry, Maddie. I thought it was Goldie. No, that's the other one. Anyway, I ran into Maddie and I wanted her so bad. She's so precious, but I already have so many pop star, pop personality girls. So I didn't want another one. I have so many of them. I have like three. <laughs> um, I ended up finding Opal, which I will show here. I love Opal. She was the first one that I saw and I thought, oh my god, I cannot go without her. Also, I have uh, Wolfgang's Amiibo, so I didn't feel bad losing him. <laughs> hey guys, today is Thursday, September 1st. It is 6.03 p.m. and I'm having my first meal of the day. <laughs> uh, you really know that you're at the end of your month when, um, when the only food you can prepare is two bean burritos and three chicken nuggets. I get paid the day after tomorrow. So I should be able to buy some groceries. I'm really excited for the groceries, mostly because I'm tired of eating no vegetables. I usually have a vegetable with all of my meals, but oh my God, I haven't, I, I ran out, um, not yesterday, but the day before, I ran out of vegetables. So now I just don't have vegetables. <laughs> um, I'm letting this <clears throat> burrito cool off. I just had a piece of garlic bread because again, I don't really, I don't have much right now. Uh, I just ate the last of my garlic bread and now I'm gonna have these two burritos and those chicken nuggets. I have enough to eat like this for a couple of days, but it's really frustrating because I, um, trigger warning, I am gonna be talking about weight for a second. I will include a timestamp here to let you know where to skip to. I did reach 100 pounds this week, or last week I mean. I hit 100 pounds, which I have never in my life been 100 pounds. So that is the highest I have ever been. And so I hit 100, and of course now I'm having to ration food, so I'm probably gonna dip back down to like 97 by the time I'm able to get some food again, which sucks because then that's gonna take another three weeks for me to get back up to 100. And then it's going to be like, you know, I'm going to be right back where I was um, weight wise or food wise. Although, no, I think I'm not going to struggle as much for money now. Um, and maybe I'll get into that, but I don't I don't know how much I, I want to talk about that right now. I don't know what what's to come with it and I will keep you updated. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I don't lose more than another pound at like the max. Though I don't know, my scale's been really weird. My scale, like I hit 100 and then I stepped on it immediately after because I was like, oh my God, I wanna like look at it again. And it immediately told me 98. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? So I looked it up, not, I didn't look the scale up, but like I looked um, at the scale that I bought and I looked at the reviews and then I filtered it to just the negative reviews because I just wanted to see if that was a common thing. And it is <laughs> when you're, um, I have a fit index scale. And a lot of people say that when, uh, like when they've used it for a couple of years and I've had mine a couple of years, that it starts getting inaccurate and it starts just spitting random numbers out at you. So I am hoping that I, you know, am more than a hundred. <laughs> That's the dream, but who knows? Who knows with that fucking scale? Um. I am very hungry. Like I said, it's 6 p.m. and I'm having my first meal today. But that's not because like I was just not eating all day. It's because I stayed in bed until like 2.30 and then I had to wash my dishes. No, not wash my dishes. I had, yeah, I had to wash my dishes. I didn't do my dishes last night. And then I rinsed out my rice cooker because I always run it through a, a steaming cycle before I use it. But then I was like, wait, why am I doing this? I don't have vegetables to steam. So that was a waste of time. And then I cooked my stuff in the in my air fryer, which took 20 minutes and 
that you know that's ended up being 6 p.m yay <laughs> but i'm gonna try to eat this i don't know if it's still too hot to eat i just spit everywhere but yeah i will try to come and see you guys later hello hello once again this is voice over me so this clip is the one that I was using to see if my camera was in the correct place while I did all of this. I just thought it was funny to include, to, <laughs> to see all of this and my, my bending. <laughs> so this is a fun little project I decided to do. A lot of the, so I live on the first floor of an apartment. And a lot of the neighbor kids like to come and stare at me through my windows. So I stopped opening my blinds, but I very much like having sunlight. But as you can see, that is just straight up the, the parking lot. <laughs> so I wanted a nicer view. So I bought some window decals so that I, it, you know, I have a nicer thing to look at. And it kind of looks like I have a painting in my living room now. And this is just me doing the measurements and cutting up the cutting up the decal to size. Uh, you can see me having issues because I'm very frustrated that, uh, cause I thought, okay, so the way that I measured this, I did not measure correctly and I thought two would fit both of my windows and it doesn't. So I needed two for one window, which is very frustrating because now I have to wait until I have the money get to get the other two so I can do my other window. So for now, I just have one window and you'll see what I did at the end because I just covered the other window with a sheet because I did not spend $50 on two panels. Also, this is real time cutting speed, not slowed down. <laughs> um, I did not spend $50 on two of these panels so that I could not look at them for however long it takes me to get that $50. So I really like them. They look really nice. They were a little bit of a pain to put up simply because I'm not very well versed with this stuff. Um, I have never put a window decal or any kind of decal up. I also was using the squeegee backwards. It was not correct. <laughs> but I think it was a really good addition to my apartment. I really enjoy looking at it. I'm actually looking at it from my desk right now as we speak instead of looking at my footage, which I should be doing. I, I don't know, it just, it looks so nice and it really brightens up the room. It, it doesn't, it doesn't add a whole lot of light. Like it's, it's, it's a little dim, but just look at it. It's so pretty. It's so, oh God, I love it so much. I can't wait for both of them to be in. It just looks so nice. It looks so good. I love it so much. I'm so happy I bought this. And then my, my dingy curtain. <laughs> So that is going to be it for today's vlog. I'm sorry it was so short. I haven't had a whole lot of energy lately, as you guys know, but I would like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me and following me, T and Maya V. Thank you again so much for your continued and unconditional support. I really appreciate you guys. And if you would like to see my Patreon, it's uh, gonna be down in the description. And it starts at $1 a month and it goes up to 10. Once again, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm really grateful for it. And I'm really happy that you sat and watched this. And yeah, I hope you have a good day. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Yeah, bye. I'll see you next week.